Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to M Nation, where we're empowering nations with the truth of God's word. Yes, this is Larry and Stacey Wallace. Excited to be with you this morning. It is a great morning, a beautiful morning, a beautiful morning to give thanks in everything. Yes, that's right. We're excited. We have just come out of 30 chapters of Unleashed and Anointed for Kingdom Business. And starting today, we are launching into our new series, which is just taking what's happening right now, natural events, current events, what's happening in the world around us, putting biblical relevance to it, just so that we can see God in all things, know God in all things. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. We're glad that you're joining us. We love you so much. Yes, glad that you're going to be with us today. An amazing night again last night at our M Women Bible Study, our Marketplace Connect groups. Mm -hmm. uh, we are in a module right now talking about the foundations of our faith, uh, the testimonies that we're getting of people, many people who've been going to church their whole life and having an awakening that... I'm supposed to be doing more than going to church my whole life. <laughs> that I'm actually supposed to be out there being the hands and feet of Jesus, being bold witnesses and disciples. And we love how you are taking these words, this truth, and you're putting it into action. It really is what we're about. At M Women, uh, Impact, M Nation. The E-M stands for Empowering nations, empowering people with the truth of God's word. Yeah, we have an exciting impact men's group that are going to be meeting tonight. So I'm excited about the guys. We're having a, a new series that starts tonight, our second module we're going to be starting tonight. And I know the guys are excited You're about it. You're kicking right into it. It's good. Yeah, I yeah, love it. I love stuff. the fact that you've got men from all over, different denominations, different churches that come. We really believe, we talked about it last night in our module, that the way back to the New Testament church is not that all religions come together in one building, but it is that all the churches come together and teaching people how to read the word of God for themselves so that when they come together on Sundays, it's a culmination of testimonies and celebration and really that we get back to what we're doing. And so today, uh, one of the things that happened this week, I don't know if you guys saw it, but Texas got hit hard Ooh. by hail hell storm all hail broke loose yeah it's one of the things about living in texas in march that happens you it know, happened 2016 i was just looking back to see when the last uh, big hell storm that we had that came through not that we haven't had hell storms in 2017 18 because they literally they come every year during the springtime it's just this the area of the country that we live in but in 2016 the hell storm that came in that year was $1.5 billion in damages. Ooh. That is a lot of damage. Man, it's a lot of damage. They were measuring uh, these hailstones that was four and a half inches wide or in diameter this past Sunday. It That's was the crazy. size of a grapefruit. We were at home, happy, didn't hit our house, didn't come anywhere near us, but our sweet, mm -hmm. precious little 17 year old Alexia Wallace was out and she had my car, my warrior DNA car. And uh, all of a sudden, we got a call, and I said, baby, I feel like you should come home. We didn't know there was going to be a hailstorm or anything. It, just... it wasn't even in the forecast. There was no storms. It was actually the forecast that it was like a 20% chance of rain that night. Yeah, and she just, for, just kept, Mom, and I don't want to. And they were doing something. The other kids were doing something. Anyhow, finally, I said, no, I want you to come now. Well, she got out. They were in Target when I called. She got out, and when she got out, our sirens went off. And she was still kind of going a little slow. I said, baby, get home now. The sirens are going off here. I really want you to get home. And about that time, she got in her car. Uh, she was heading back. She was at a stoplight. And she got pulmerized. That car got massively nailed with wow. that big old hail. And it, our car looks like, it looks like somebody took one of those little Bob the Builder hammers, if they were steel, all over the car, like the hood. I, I've never seen anything like it. Never had a car like that. Glass broken. And Grew up in Texas my whole life. We had a, a car not too long ago, I think around 2008, 2009 time frame that uh, was in a hell storm. And I thought that one was bad. Uh, this car, man, I've never seen damage like that. Yeah, and so I want to talk about it because what do you do when all hell breaks loose in your life? What do you do when... You're in a situation that you can't control, 
Uh, she was in a situation, it was an, it was an amazing life lesson. Mm -hmm. uh, it was amazing on multiple levels. But she, when that hell hit, and I, and I say this because we shared this testimony last night, so I'm not sharing Alexia's business, but she shared her testimony last night. It was very cute how she shared it because she was acting like, I was all cool. <laughs> I wasn't upset. I didn't cry. <laughs> she but she, she was it was that. a scary situation. She's in the car. She's at a stoplight. She has to get off the street. She's looking for shelter, can't find it. Everyone is already under all the awnings of the car, car carports. So she goes to Chick-fil-A, which is right there by her. And they've got those little umbrella things that she tries to get under an umbrella. But in the meantime, she it, it sounds like someone is hitting that car with a hammer over and over and over and she's in it she's screaming mommy what do i do what do i do and i'm i'm trying to tell her just calm down just calm down and of course it's it's easy for someone my age yeah. to say calm down because we know that at the end of the day if she'll just protect herself hunker down it'll pass she ended up crawling into the back seat getting on the floorboard because it was breaking our windshield the hell was coming down that hard yeah, she was... was speaking in tongues praying in the spirit <laughs> she just got back there but it was it was trauma mm -hmm. without question there was a lot going on and i remember you were trying to calm her down and so you were getting heated up and like why won't she stop why won't she stop and finally just this the preciousness of the holy spirit and this is why we encourage you to know the word of god to know the holy spirit because paul said life's gonna happen mm -hmm. Some days it's going to feel like all oh, hell. When you're going through hell, don't stop, right? If you're going through hell like her, pull over. <laughs> yeah, pull over. <laughs> but when you feel like all hell, H-E-L-L, -L, is breaking loose against you, what do you do? And in that moment, I remember we were standing outside. It was calm here. But I, I just said, Daddy, I just, I just really believe that all things work together mm -hmm. for good. And somehow, some way... This is, God's going to work this to our favor. And immediately the Holy Spirit gave us the scripture in 1 Thessalonians 5 that says, in everything, give thanks. Rejoice always in everything, give thanks. You know, last week, we, that was easier said than done, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and especially when you're going through it at the time, you know, you think to yourself, all the what ifs and you, there's just so many unknowns and so you think man you know wh why did this have to happen all this kind of stuff but then if you can just stop and start looking for god in every situation every it doesn't matter situation. if it's a hell storm or the storms of life if you start looking for god in every situation then it's amazing how your perspective will start changing because you can see how God can use something to propel you somewhere else that you may not have gone without it. People want to access the power of the Word of God, but in order to access the Word of God, you've got to practice, put it into practice, the Word of God. So the, the scripture that came to me was, in everything give thanks and so i just started going thank you jesus god i thank you that my girl's okay mm -hmm. i thank you that she's protected i thank you that it's just a car i thank you that right now you can engulf it with angels we've seen that before where it doesn't get a dent on it but god i just thank you that in anything no matter what we give thanks thank you for bringing her home safely and i began to shift from oh my goodness trying to calm her down to give thanks i said alexia baby i, I can't help you right now i can't get to you right now but I just encourage you, pray in the spirit and give thanks. Give thanks to God. And so, anyhow, so she came back, she got here, and sure enough, every square inch of that car is beaten like a pulp. I, I, we are praying and believing that God does a miracle on either it being total, we get all the money for it, or that they're able to work that thing out because it was just a perfect car. <laughs> but we not, are not defined by our cars. We're not confined by our stuff. We know that God even uses things in order to bring us revelation or situation that leads to wisdom. This was a situation that led to wisdom. And so when Peyton and her got in, of course, we had her take video of it. We were saying, maybe you got you to gotta get out once it's, once it's safe. Get out, take video, show pictures of the car before you leave so we have it for insurance. So when she posted it on Instagram, she's holding these big old pieces of golf ball <laughs> size hail and her little hand shaking. She's just, 
you can hear in the video her just sniffling. She was, she was, she took some video from inside the car while it was happening, and you can hear her so loud. Yeah, but you can hear her sniffling while she was taking the video. Bless her heart. But that's real deal live. Yeah, it was, happens. I told her, I said, my whole life, I haven't been in a hell storm like that. I mean, oh you know, my goodness, I haven't either. That was. And, and so here she is at 17 years old. She probably experienced the worst hell storm that she probably ever will be in. And she's got that out of the way. She don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, and you might be in a place right now, and here's the whole point of today. You probably are in a place, or you've been in a place, where you feel like you're getting beat by a bat, by the enemy. Mm -hmm. Mentally, emotionally, physically, maybe you're going through hell right now. And I wanna encourage you in everything, give thanks. Alexia and Peyton came home, and when they came in, I said, everyone okay, everyone's okay. We looked at the car, we wiped the cars off. We said, okay, well, we, Daddy's already made got calls to the adjuster, so let's go inside and let's sit down and let's talk about how can we learn from what's just happened. And so we sat down and everybody was calmed down. Very sweet, sweet presence of the Holy Spirit was here. And we talked about, you know, let's talk about what to do in a moment of panic. What do you do? Well, we talked about, you know, don't keep driving because when you're crying and you're panicked, that's not safe. Best thing is to pull over, obviously, if you can don't panic, find shelter, right? And so there was a little panic going on so that we weren't able to help Alexia find shelter. Uh, but she parked a Chick-fil-A, which Alexia works at Chick-fil-A, and to her that is shelter. <laughs> <laughs> he who dwells in the secret place of Chick-fil-A shall she, abide under so, the shadow of the Almighty. So this is her story. She said, it was coming down so hard, I couldn't see anything. I couldn't even see the road in front of me. But I looked to my left and there was Chick-fil-A, so I pulled in. <laughs> yeah, was like, like angels singing. <laughs> I said, Chick-fil-A deserves to give you a raise just for that right there. Yes. But anyhow, so they came in and we, we talked about really the five most important things to do when you're in a moment of panic, whether it's a tornado, whether it's a flood, whether it's hail, whether it's something happening, you're, you're in a house and everybody's partying and goes a different direction than you and use situations in every situation. Parents, it is our responsibility. It's not the church's responsibility. It's not the school's responsibility. It Bible says it is our responsibility to teach the principles of life to our children. And we utilize situations like this to do that. So last night we're at the M Women Connect group and everybody goes around and they tell you know their name and and just a little something about themselves so alexia it's so cool so it gets to alexia and alexia is like yeah well um i forgot to tell you mom last night uh, or when this happened with the car she said i was sitting there and i was at this stoplight and i got so frustrated and scared because the car there was this big truck in front of me that would not move and she said you know me i never honk my horn she said but I was honking my horn trying to get him to get through the light so I could get to shelter. And so that panic set in and she said, and I didn't think of it then, but now I'm remembering vividly on the back of his truck, it said, it was a bumper sticker that just said Romans 8, 28, <laughs> which is our family scripture. All things work together for good to them who love God and are called according to his purpose. And so last night, just another layer of the Holy Spirit soothing came over Alexia that everything works together for good. You know, when we asked, what, what, does, what do you need for prayer tonight? Because we have a time of testimony and we have a time of prayer. She said, I just want to pray for my mom and dad's car. If you guys would just pray that it's either total and they get full amount for it or that they somehow fix it and, and something good works out of this. I love that that short of window time from the hell breaking loose to an opportunity to stand before the body of Christ in a connect group like that, that she learned a life lesson that she will take for the rest of her life, that God knows the value of that life lesson, what it'll be sometime in her life or how she'll teach her friends or teach her kids. God has a way of turning all things even your seemingly worst things together for good when you love God and are called according to his purpose. Mm, that's good. I think that's a message for someone today that may be going through a storm in your life. And so right now we'll pray for you guys. Mm -hmm. Father, we just thank you for everybody watching today. I thank you, God, that uh, if they are going through a storm in their life, I thank you that you 
just remind them that you are Lord, you're Lord over their life, God, and that you are in control of everything. Nothing passes by you, Thank nothing you, goes Jesus. unseen, you, and all things work together for good them who love God and are called according to his purpose. So I thank you, Father, that everybody who is watching this show today, I thank you that they, they find that peace in knowing that you are working, whatever it may be, together for their good. And I thank you, God, that you just remind them through the Holy Spirit that you have, them, have their back. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We encourage you guys, share this. Somebody needs this message today. We are amazed at the new friends that we have because of this boldness that we have on Facebook. Uh, untraditional, unconditional conversations that we're having, but it's really bringing in a whole new tribe of people that we've never met before. Share this video, like it, please comment it, tell us what you're going through or where you're tapping in from. Private messages, if you want to have a direct connect with us, we would love to pray for you. Uh, if you're going through something you need deliverance or healing, just we would love to pray for you. We're here for you to serve you, equip you with the message of Jesus Christ. So we love you. Have a great day today. Make sure you check out our podcast, uh, stacywallace.com forward slash podcast. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.